Alright, quick little demo slash review of this uh, fairly affordable PA speaker called Alto. Let's flip around for a minute. So this one's the TX312, as in 12 inch speaker. Hey, the fan's not going. I hope the bloody thing engages when it gets hot, because it's not working out of the box. You know, when you turn it on, whereas on my PV Dark Matter DM112, that fan's always on. Hmm. Let's get to the back here. Fan. Fan. You can hear it. It's on. So that's a worry. I'm going to play some stuff through it and let's see if it turns on magically. Otherwise, by the end of this video, I'm going to do a bit of research and see if that's normal or not and let you know. Anyway, pretty basic PA speaker. Volume control, uh, I think it's recommended not to go past there. There's instructions that comes with it, depending on what you're hooking up to it. When you play music or whatever through it, um, if it's peaking, this will flash red. Not that, that. So contour and ground, I don't need to engage any of them. I've got this connected to my electronic drum kit, TD30K. But I've also got, you know, my computer plugged in to my mixer, which the drum kit is also plugged into at the same time. And also this PA speaker here is plugged into the mixer. So, you know, I can use it for drums. I can use it, I can send music from my PC to both PA speakers. I mostly use these speakers, you know, for jamming. So electronic drum kit through both speakers. Um, and also vocals. And when we're trying to figure out, you know, different sections of cover songs now, I might send the music through the PA speakers so we can uh, sort of analyse and shit like that. Just connected with a balanced... Jack cable. But of course, you can also just plug in a XLR, if you wish, into the input. Link, I guess link is if you want to get another speaker, and you can like, a, it's like a through, plug it into another speaker, and it'll send the same uh, output to the other speaker. But both these PA speakers are just connected independently through the mixer. Bottle of Crown Raw, anyone? First, through a more expensive speaker. Now the Alto, same distance, same volume. to the PV, bit of Megadeth.
concealed in the night from the light of the moon. Undetected between the heavens, the stars and the seas. They seize the night when it's dark like inside a tomb. Alto, Mega Death. Concealed in the night from the light of the moon. Undetected between the heavens, the stars and the seas. That's a worry, man. There's no fancy controls on this Alto. I mean, on the PV, I've got like a little LCD display and I can sort of um, change between presets, you know, rock. Um, let's have a look. So to change the EQ on something like this, you gotta do it through the mixer, really. It's a no-nonsense PA speaker. Yeah, so the PV Dark Matter. There we go. Oh, I was leaving on a rock for now. So, yeah, with a PA speaker like that, if one will adjust the EQ. Obviously, you've got to do it through the mixer here, but um, you know, it sounds fine the way the way it is out of the box. I only bought it so I can have a second PA in here, so when we're having a full band jam, you know, it's a lot clearer. When drums and vocals is coming out of just one speaker on one side of the room, yeah, it can get a little hard to hear. So, got two of them blaring, just waiting for these uh speaker PA stands to come in then I can put it on the corners of the room and that'll be all good but no it works well for uh, just jamming with a drum kit vocals sounds pretty decent with music pumping through it as well in the room I can't really notice a massive quality difference I mean that one's a lot more configurable the PV but uh, they both sound great in the room man and they blend fairly well Let's have a look at this fan thing. I've got this manual here for TX series. All it says with the fan is cooling vent. Keep the area in front of this vent clear from obstructions. The fan behind the vent cools the amplifier, preventing overheating. Okay, is that it? No mention of whether it only comes on when it's getting hot or what. I assume it should be on all the time, but it's not. So, pfft. well, that's great, isn't it? All the reviews I read are like praising this PA speaker, but I don't know, man. The cooling fan does not run when I turn it on, but I guess this only comes on when they're 
being used to play loud music. Any response to that? Okay, his is not working at all, so that's not the same issue as I'm having. No other mention. So I don't know, man. I can't find any info. But this guy. Okay, today's the day. Today's the day. We are going to be talking about the TX312 from Alta. This is their 2001 12-inch powered speaker. We've got an intro to it. It's Oh, no one's gonna show it. Bloody hell. Fan. A fan for cooling. Great. That's the only mention. A uh, PA speaker fan supposed to run all the time? PA speaker fan not working oh here we go alto fan have you ever noticed the fans working i have no idea if they are on a thermostat or run all the time exactly but if the fan stops working or doesn't cut in when it should do then it's very like uh, yeah, yeah yeah an opinion the fans are variable speed based on how warm they are. At cold they rotate very slowly. Mine isn't rotating at all. Sometimes radically. I did notice that one of the fans had a high pitch mine, blah 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 blah. No. Okay, an opinion saying that uh, cooling when quiescent and should really only cut in for continuous high power operation. I can't verify beyond opinions. Okay, another opinion, it's not for the same brand PA speaker, but this one says, The fan is thermally controlled. It will only switch on when the unit becomes extremely hot. Otherwise, the built-in heat sinks will dissipate the heat. Therefore, unless you use a receiver with higher volume levels for extended periods of time, the fan may never turn on. Interesting. I just found the instructions. I never read these things. Well, let's see if anything's in here, which I don't think there is because the online one didn't say anything about the fans. Yeah, the same thing. Don't keep it obstructed. Doesn't say whether it's thermostatically connected or not. <laughs> Thermostatically? Oh, the contour switch. I didn't even know what it was. To emphasize low and high frequencies by 3 dB. Oh, that's cool. So if you want more bass and highs, push the contour button. I think maybe it's safe to say that the fan is only supposed to come on when it's getting hot. I think. If any of you guys know for sure, let me know. I'm not going to blast it you know, full-blown loud for a long period of time at this time at night. Still nothing. So hopefully all is well and the fan thing is controlled by how hot it gets. <laughs> well, all I can say is if that's not a fault and that's normal behaviour. Hey, it's a pretty damn good speaker for like, I think I paid $399 Australian. So in American, I guess it's, uh, I'm going to have a guess here. I reckon it's probably about 250 to $280 American. So, hey, affordable PA speaker. Does the job, like the Marshall fridge. There's no booze in there, it's not turned on right now. You better be good to me. That? Just my pussy. Still got that weird plasticky smell. I thought maybe it's burning the electronics inside because the fan's not working, but nah. Just that new smell. Oh, well, I think it will do the job anyway. 
Toodles!